He played in less than half the games, and when he got in, Sasha Kalea Jones averaged two points and two rebounds. It wasn't what he expected, but he's really determined to change that. Alan Cutler has more on a player that many True Blue fans seem to be forgetting about. Anytime a 6'10 McDonald's All-American shows up to Kentucky, the expectations are sky high. And then you don't play, and you get frustrated. All that is very natural, but aha! It's really interesting how mature Sasha is and how he handled what could have been a mess. I have great parents, like I said. Uh, they've always been there and always, you know, just teach me to stick with things. 6'10 and 221 pounds was the experience frustrating last season. Of course, that's normal, but Sasha is a fighter. I don't think I needed a, I think I needed like a shoulder to cry on or anything like that. In terms of being frustrating, it was at times, you know, just because he's a basketball player, you want to get on the court and you, know, you want to help your team win. I, I think I did a, a pretty good job of, you know, not, not letting that frustration, you know, get to me or anything. I, I tried to you know, take everything as a learning experience, like I said. So just taking, you know, anything I messed up on and, and doing that way better the next time and take all those things and work on them. The bottom line is Sasha is bigger, stronger, and quicker, and he worked on his weaknesses. And with this maturity level, how can you not root for him to surprise many this season? Alan Cutler, LEX 18 Sports. Thank you, Alan. Louisville acting basketball coach David Padgett hired an assistant coach today. He brings in Trent Johnson, who was a head coach for 17 seasons at Nevada, Stanford, LSU, and TCU. It would be tough for me to ask a lot of people to pick up and move, maybe in, in a secure situation where they've got a contract or whatnot, and come in here where six months from now, I mean, we have no idea what's going to happen. So it's it, timing-wise, like I said, with, with his situation and mine, it really couldn't have worked out any better. The U.K. football team is getting the chance to breathe. There's no game this coming weekend, just a chance to heal and work on their own game. The U.K. sitting at 5-1, and one, one win from bowl eligibility. The bye week last season helped the offense reinvent itself and really improve. There's belief that could happen again. Towards the end of the season, we, we had an even more chip on our shoulder because, you know, we was wanted to get that bowl game. We wanted to reach things. Now, we're that, now we know we're that team. Now it's time to just move forward and just win. Win, but um, I, the more we focus on and we focus on our opponents, I just feel like we'll be able to take advantage of you know those first downs and whenever we we start to break ahead and not beat ourselves up, so the other team can come back. Because I'm tired of that. <laughs> just one more day to vote for the LEX 18 High School Sports Zone Game of the Week. Go to Sports Zone's Facebook page. Vote for one of these three games here. We'll reveal the winner tomorrow at 11 o'clock. We'll be right back.